Chapter 1. Chance Encounters Camille, a passionate and radiant yoga teacher, had recently moved to a new city. The cobbled streets and small shops gave it a sense of peace and wonder. She was eager for new experiences and encounters. Camille particularly enjoyed walking in the nearby park, a lush green setting where ancient trees formed a protective canopy and colorful flowers bloomed in the fresh grass. On the other side of the park, Mark, a promising writer, spent his afternoons writing on a bench. His gaze was often lost in the landscape, in search of inspiration for his stories. The chirping of the birds and the whisper of the wind in the leaves were a soothing melody that helped him focus on his words and his emotions. One sunny day, as Camille settled down on the grass for a meditation session, she noticed Mark, sitting on his usual bench, immersed in writing. The light breeze blew off a few sheets of Mark's notebook, who didn't notice their escape. Camille got up and ran after the stray sheets. Once in hand, she approached Mark and, with a smile on her face, began the conversation. Excuse me, but I believe you have lost these pages, she said, handing him the sheets. Oh, thank you very much, Mark replied, taking them, his cheeks flushed slightly with surprise. My name is Mark, and you are. My name is Camille, delighted to meet you, she said, her eyes sparkling with curiosity. They exchanged a few words about their respective passion and, as the sun began to set, said goodbye, promising to meet again in this park where chance had brought them together. Camille returned home, her mind filled with the image of Mark, this writer with dreamy eyes and a tender smile. She was eager to see him again and learn more about him. For his part, Mark couldn't help but think back to Camille, her natural beauty and her positive energy that had instantly charmed him. He knew they were destined to meet again and that their story was just beginning. Chapter 2, First Dates During the following weeks, Camille and Mark crossed paths regularly in the park. Each meeting was an opportunity for exciting and lively conversations, during which they discovered their common interests and their life experiences. They were surprised to see how much they had in common. A love for nature, a taste for the arts and an insatiable curiosity for the world around them. One sunny Sunday afternoon, Mark suggested that Camille share a picnic by the pond that was in the heart of the park. He had carefully prepared a selection of delicacies, accompanied by a fresh and fruity wine. The two lovers settled down on a blanket in the shade of a weeping willow, barefoot in the soft grass. Their conversations became more personal and intimate as they talked about their families and their hopes and dreams. They shared childhood memories, funny anecdotes and secrets about their fears and aspirations. Time seemed to stand still as they laughed, exchanged knowing glances and discovered each other. As the days went by, their meetings turned into long walks hand in hand, exploring the secret nooks and crannies of the park. They spent hours chatting, sitting on a bench or lying in the grass, their eyes riveted on the clouds that formed ephemeral figures in the blue sky. The evenings were just as magical, when they met to enjoy a glass of wine in a small, cozy bar, or dine in a romantic restaurant bathed in warm candlelight. The bursts of laughter and the fiery exchange of glances testified to the growing intensity of their relationship. Each moment spent together brought them a little closer, weaving an invisible and indestructible bond that never ceased to strengthen. Their hearts beat in unison, and the evidence of their love only grew, nourished by the complicity, the affection and the tenderness they had for each other. Chapter 3, Growing Intimacy One rainy afternoon, while the drops of water slid on the windows forming capricious furrows, Camille invited Mark to her house to share a tea and listen to music. Her apartment, warm and tastefully decorated, was a real cocoon where each object seemed to tell a story. The shelves were filled with books, the walls lined with travel photos and the soft cushions invited you to relax. 
They settled on the sofa, their legs entwined under a cozy blanket. The steaming tea perfumed the air with spicy and comforting scents, while the soft music enveloped their bodies in sweet and bewitching notes. The rain drummed against the windows, creating an intimate and cozy atmosphere. Mark and Camille began to talk about their dreams, their projects and their deepest secrets. They confided in each other with touching sincerity and vulnerability, reinforcing the bond that united them. Their hands sought each other, caressed and intertwined, as if to seal the bond that brought them together. As dusk enveloped the city in a veil of mist and the lights came on in the streets, Mark put his hand on Camille's thigh and, with an intense gaze, said to her, Since I met you, my life has taken a different turn. Your presence soothes me and fills me with happiness. I feel so close to you, and yet I still have so much to discover. Camille, her eyes shining with emotion, leaned over to Mark and kissed him languidly, their lips intertwining with growing passion. Their hands began to explore their bodies, touching curves, reliefs and hollows with infinite tenderness. Their breaths became deeper, more jerky, betraying the desire and the excitement that was rising in them. Their embrace grew tighter, their fingers pressing against the skin, seeking to erase the boundary between their bodies. They lost themselves in each other, letting themselves be carried away by the irresistible force of love and shared intimacy. Chapter 4, Desire and Sensuality A few weeks later, Mark and Camille decided to spend the night together for the first time. They had waited for the perfect moment, when their mutual love and desire had reached an irresistible intensity. Mark had booked a suite in a boutique hotel to celebrate this special night, giving Camille an unforgettable experience. The bedroom was elegant and romantic, with delicate silk sheets, rose petals strewn across the bed, and candles casting dancing shadows on the walls. A bottle of champagne was waiting, chilled and sparkling, ready to be enjoyed. Mark and Camille undressed slowly, taking the time to appreciate and admire each other's bodies. Each garment removed revealed a new patch of skin, each gesture was imbued with desire and promise. Camille slid her hands over Mark's chest, exploring every muscle, every scar, every detail that told the story of her life. Mark, meanwhile, placed kisses on Camille's neck, making her shiver with pleasure at each touch. Her fingers traced arabesques on her skin, awakening a myriad of exquisite sensations. They flopped onto the bed, their bodies entwined with passion and desire. Their mouths sought each other, tamed each other and united in a languorous and sensual ballet. Their hands roamed their feverish bodies, lingering on each erogenous zone and causing shivers of delight. Camille wrapped her legs around Mark's waist, pulling him against her and intensifying their embrace. Their breaths were short and panting, and their hearts were pounding, as if trying to tune in to each other. They lost themselves in an ocean of caresses, murmurs and sighs, where pleasure and ecstasy took them to unexplored heights. Each gesture, each kiss and each caress strengthened the connection between Mark and Camille, uniting them beyond their bodies, in the depths of their souls. In this magical and intoxicating night, they abandoned themselves to each other, offering their love, their desire and their passion without reserve. Chapter 5, The Challenges of Life Over the months, the relationship between Mark and Camille grew stronger, their love growing with each shared moment. Yet life often holds trials and challenges that can test even the strongest couples. For Mark and Camille, the first real challenge came when Mark was offered a career opportunity in a remote town. As they shared a romantic dinner by candlelight, Mark approached the subject with some trepidation, aware of the impact it could have on their relationship. Camille, I received a proposal to work on a writing project in another city, he explained, lowering his eyes. I know it's a tough decision, but I want to be honest with you. 
I don't want to make this decision without considering your feelings and our love. Camille took a deep breath and thought about what she wanted for herself, for Mark, and for their relationship. After a moment of silence, she replied, Mark, I know that this opportunity is important for you and for your career. And although it breaks my heart to think of the distance that will separate us, I do not want to be an obstacle to your fulfillment. We need to find a way to get through this and continue to nurture our love, even if it means being apart for a while. With tears in their eyes, they took each other's hand and promised to remain faithful to each other, to support each other and to love each other, no matter how far apart they were. They knew the coming months would be difficult, but they were determined to overcome these obstacles and make their love an unwavering force. Over the next few weeks, Mark and Camille spent as much time as possible together, creating unforgettable memories that would help them through times of loneliness and lack. They made promises to each other and made plans for their future, dreaming of the days when they would finally be reunited and could continue their love affair unhindered. Despite the distance and the difficulties, Mark and Camille managed to keep their love alive thanks to the communication, the trust and the commitment they had towards each other. They discovered that their love could transcend the miles that separated them and that the trials of life only strengthened their bond, making them stronger and more united than ever.